plaintiff, Tia Conley, says the defendant is her younger brother and he has anger problems. Tia claims the defendant has been arrested for assault and she even had to keep him from assaulting his girlfriend. He is suing because she claims the defendant damaged her property in a fit of rage. Defendant Treshawn Conley says growing up, Tia was a bully. And if he didn't do what she wanted, she would verbally, mentally, or physically assault him. Treshawn is countersuing because he claims Tia recently attacked him with a trophy. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Okay, Treshawn's my little brother. He's younger than me by eight years. Just to give you some background on him, growing up he was really lazy, didn't want to do anything, just wanted to stay in front of the video game. Just wanted to play, you know, disrespecting my mom by cursing out loud, you know, and she'll ask him to stop and he'll continue doing it. He also has some aggression and anger problems. Um, he's been arrested for assaulting someone. He's also physically like fought me twice. And he, what, like two or three weeks ago, I had to stop him from, you know, assaulting his girlfriend. He was like literally assaulting her. I had to help on his back and stop him from fighting her outside by my mom's house. Did he fight much in school when no. he was young? No. When did he start all this? I want to say 15, 16, maybe a rebellious stage or whatever mm -hmm. they may call it. And never got out of that never. stage? Never. Finished high school? No. Do you know why or did you see? He didn't want to go. He okay. wanted to stay in front of Let the Let me game. allow him to give some background, sir. Growing up, me and my family, we moved to uh, the northwest suburbs of uh, Chicago, a town called Addison. In that time, my mom had just got a new fiance. Uh, she was never there at home. I would say she'd come home about once or twice a week. In between that time, it was just me and the plaintiff at home. I was around uh, 12, 13 years old. She'd always have people over, smoking marijuana, doing all this, doing all that, drinking. Uh, it's true. She though. would? Yes, it's true, though. Uh, whenever they were all done, I'd, have, I'd always have to be the one to clean up. Yes, I did play my video game and stuff like that, but you know, what kid doesn't, okay? Uh, you know, whenever I didn't, whenever I didn't uh, want to do anything that she told me to, she would either verbally abuse me, mentally abuse me, or physically abuse me. She would? Yes. Uh, around, around, I would say like 14 to 15 years old, yes, I, I very was rebellious. You know, I wasn't rebellious towards my mother. I wasn't rebellious towards my family. Yeah, I was rebellious right. towards her because she'd always try to bully me into submission and to doing whatever it, it was. It wasn't bullying, Your Honor. I was finish. You know, I wasn't her kid, mm -hmm. so she had no right putting her hands on me in the first place. If she had problems with any of my behavior, she should have went to my you mom. You finished high school? Yes, sir, I did finish high school. You work? Yes, sir. What type of job? Right now, I'm trying to get certified to uh, drive forklifts inside of a factory. A company what do you do right uh, now, though? Right now, I'm yes. a catering director. Okay. All right. Did you finish high school or any no, advanced I training? No, I didn't. I, was, I had a Why? child at 15. Uh -huh. uh, like he said, my mom was absent, leaving me to be the guardian mm -hmm. of my little brother. So, yeah, I was hard on him. Okay. You know what I mean? I didn't want him to take the path. Yeah, we got that part about him. We're talking about you now. Yeah. I, no, Why I, didn't you finish? I, I didn't finish because, I, like I said, my mother was absent. I didn't have the proper guidance, you know what I mean, growing up. So once I had him, it was either you know, go to school and be stuck with two children or, you know, go to school or pass or just be home stuck with them. Okay. So what I, about since then? I have, I went to go and get my GED mm -hmm. from College of DuPage and mm -hmm. there in Wheaton. Um, right now I'm just working like MSC. It's you a, say you MSC. went, what happened when you went? I, I took the test, I passed it. Okay, well you do have yeah. your high school diploma. I don't have my, I consider it just a GED, you know. High school diploma, it's called General... Education. Educated. Education <laughs> Diploma. Diploma yeah. being the operative word. Yeah. All right. What are you suing for? How does he owe you for property damage? Okay, my 47 inch TV I bought, he picked up and slammed. Due to me asking him for a cigarette, he jumped <laughs> crazy. Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's crazy, and I know it's simple, you know what I mean? But it still doesn't... Why do you think that was his reaction? He he thought he was going to, you know, tell me, no, then just taking a month himself to just do whatever with my things. Your Honor, that's... No, we're talking about the cigarette. Your Honor, No, his Your reply Honor, was snap off on me and say cursing words at me. Uh-huh. 
which kind of hurted my feelings. So instead of being his age, cause I'll, I'll be 30 in two days, I decided, okay, just cut my things off. It will leave it at that, which is my Xbox one S and my TV. He didn't like that reaction. He picked my TV up by the top and threw it. Okay. And that's what you're suing for? Yes. All right, but you're suing for 1150. Yes, because the Xbox One S, it just came out. I purchased it in December for my son for Christmas. Okay. When he snatched it, its cords hooked up to the TV. So when he threw the TV, the whole game Got it. left. Right, Your so Honor, the Xbox isn't broken. I actually have a video of the Xbox in perfect working condition. She's lying. Uh, okay. And when did he break it? He broke it May 9th. Okay. I actually have a video of the Xbox working as well. All right, and, and it's uh, after May 9th? Uh, the same day, actually. All right, let's see. Same gigabytes. Are you suing me for what now? Ain't nothing wrong with the controller. Ooh, what's that? It's lighting up. Uh, Look, I can move around. Who account is that? That's my account. Because that's your game. No, it's not. <laughs> that's his game. That him and my son have the same video I don't game. own a black. I mean, I, I also have video black also Xbox. of him. He said all that, but you didn't answer the question. Did you do it? Did I break the Xbox? Yeah. No, I did not. Okay, and you never pulled or threw anything down? Well... And the whole situation, what mm -hmm. actually had happened was, you know, because mm -hmm. she didn't tell the whole story correct. Mm -hmm. She told it from a biased standpoint. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to tell it from a non-biased standpoint. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Okay? <laughs> First of all, what had happened was uh, I had just got through done dropping my girlfriend off. Mm -hmm. She was going to school. Uh, I do this routine every morning. I'm not staying with my mom right now, nor am I staying with my girlfriend. I'm sort of in between both homes right now. I'm trying to get a sense of independency. Okay. You uh, talk so intelligent and sophisticated and cultivated, you don't even have enough money to pay for yourself. You got to live with other people? Go ahead, sir. So, all right. So, so far, you've said nothing about whether you pulled the television and the Xbox apart, threw down, any of that. All right. So when I had first got into the house, Tia asked me for a cigarette. Uh, she had asked me for it. I said, hey, you know, I'll give you half of it. I can't give you the whole thing. I only have two more left. Now, in between that time, she was like, you know, I want a whole cigarette because me and my boyfriend want to smoke a whole cigarette together. It's not enough for both of us. I told her, make it work. This is not my job to provide for you and your man's addictions, habits. That's not my job. I'm having a rough time as it is right now. I was just getting paid around $16 an hour, and I lost that job due to... Uh, my general manager is stealing money from the books inside the restaurant. So anyways, you know, I had told him, look, this isn't, this isn't my responsibility. Figure it out. I give you this half. Either you're going to take it or leave it. Beggars can't be choosers. So, I mean, I mean, so after that, she got mad. Okay, so after that, she got mad at me. I understand that. It wasn't too right for me to say that. Okay, I understand that part. I confess up to that. I'm a man about what I do. But you're a thing, man about what you do. Yeah, I, I admit, I admit that what I said. The first thing a man was take care of themselves. Amen. You don't, do that. you don't do that. You live off other people. Let's move on, sir, to okay. what happened. So, uh, you know, after that, you know, I'm sitting down. I'm trying to play the Xbox. The TV is currently in the front room. OK, uh, she comes up and she unplugs the TV. And then I'm like, what are you doing? You know, even her boyfriend at the time, he was like, why are you doing all this over a cigarette? Tea? You're tripping. And then, uh, you know, so I go back and I plug the TV up again. OK, the second time she comes back and unplugs the TV, I'm like, really, why are you like, why is this? Why are you escalating the problem more than it has to be? She has a long history of doing this. Uh, so I go to plug up the TV again. My back is facing towards her. Next thing I know, she's rushing at me full speed with the uh, butt wow. and the trophy. Wow. That is when I picked up the TV and I told her, hey, if you approach me again with that, I'm going to hit you with this TV. Get away from me. I'm tired of you messing with me. That's what happened. So, uh, you know, she did that or whatever. A few words were exchanged, not too kind words. She told me to drop the TV, so I did exactly what she told me to do. I dropped the TV, okay? Go ahead. So when I dropped the TV, the base end of the TV, it detached. Now, the TV is one of those TVs that has four screws in the back that can detach. And did you ever the, agree to pay her for it? Repay her for the TV? Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. Let's see your evidence. What's your counterclaim for, sir? Um, 
Suffering, pain and suffering. Something? You say pain and pain, suffering? No, pain and suffering. Sorry about that if I'm not what? speaking loud enough. Because uh, when she came down and attacked me with the trophy, she actually hit me. When do you plan on replacing my TV? You say, when you move out. That's what you tell her. Judgment for the plaintiff. Have a good day. Keep your story Thank you, to yourself. Your, Honor. your claim is dismissed. The God I serve is very good, and he will tell what's in the dark and put it in the light. You need to man up. You just played yourself. I played myself? Oh, whatever. You just played yourself. But it doesn't matter because God has revealed the truth. <laughs> Amen, brother, and I still love you. No love lost. I am cooking Sunday. Be there. That's all good. <laughs>